Hey there everyone, welcome to another video of Fox and White. So in this video we're going to learn how to share data between fragments using SafeArx. So the very first question that comes to mind is what is SafeArx? So if you are using navigation components to your Android application, so the preferred way of sharing data between fragments is SafeArx. So that is a part of this navigation component library. So the main benefit of SafeArx is type safety. That means uh, you will not get any runtime exceptions due to the type of the data that is being shared. For example, you are sharing data, you are sending a string type of data from fragment 1 to fragment 2 and fragment 2 is doing a processing based on a int type of data right so that will be prevented while you are writing the code in the id right so the error will be thrown by the editor itself so that is a major benefit of using safe parks and all the it is very easy to share the data between fragments all the things are taken care of by the navigation component library so let me demonstrate what we're gonna get by the end of this video so if you can see on my mobile screen i have this fragment one so if I just open fragment 2, right, there is no data. And in the fragment 1, I have this edit text. So if I just type something, for example, if I type Fox Android, right, if I just go to fragment 2, here you can see I have received the same data. If I just type sent some data, go to fragment 2, boom, we got the data. So this is what we'll be getting by the end of this video. If you want to learn the same and implement to your Android application, make sure you watch this video till the end. So without much ado, let's get started. So guys, if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification icon for seeing the notification of the upcoming videos. And by the end of the video, if you like the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button as well. So we'll be starting uh, where we left in the last video. So if you do not know how to implement navigation components and how these things work, I already have a video on that. You can check out that video by clicking on this I button, right? I'll highly recommend to check out that video. But in case, if you know that how the implementation of fragments work, then you can continue this video. There is no issue with that. So the very first thing we are going to do is we are going to implement certain libraries. So we'll come to the official documentation, all right? Just type this hip safety by using safe args, right? Here uh, we need to implement this dependency. So we'll come to project level build dot gradle, and here in the dependencies we'll just paste this, and we need to implement. A plugin as well so we'll just select a uh, kotlin uh, it will work in java right i've just selected kotlin because this format will work so just copy this come to app level build dot grader so here in the plugins is this let's just sync the project so it will take some time to download the libraries right so let's just wait for that so here is the sync has been completed it may take a while depending on your internet speed now we'll just come to our nav graph so here for example we want to send data from fragment 1 to fragment 2 so if you're just uh, coming from my last video right if you see in my last video i've just modified two things let me just show you that i have implemented edit text in this fragment right this particular edit text and i have implemented this text view to show the data right so if you're following the same tutorial and you want to implement the same thing you need to add these two things the edit text and the text view so for example we want to send data from fragment 1 to fragment 2 so what is the destination activity the destination activity is fragment 2 so just simply tap here here in the attributes you'll find arguments just tap on this add icon right now here we want to declare the variable name for example i'll just name it as name only right or we can type it as okay now we need to select the type so the data i'll be sending is of string type right so you here you can uh, set the default value for example if the user is not sending any data so if nothing is there this default value will be taken so at this point of time i'm not doing that so add so you got this right so if you just go to the xml of this you will see in fragment 2 this particular argument has been added right so uh, by this now our 
okay i guess we need to build it so let me just rebuild the project some library will be generated depending on this safe arcs right so here you can see some uh, classes has already been created by this library right depending on our fragments so fragment one direction two two direction and two arcs because we are only implementing the save arcs in fragment two that is why we got this class now we'll just come to fragment one from where we want to send the data so inside this button click listener right so whenever the user taps on this button we want to get the data from the edit text so for that we'll refer to edit text we'll name it as fake to data now here we need to create a object of the snap directions we'll be using this name right uh, let me just show you depending on the name of your fragments you will be using for example uh, mine is fragment one direction so depending on the name of the fragment you might get different name so i'll be using fragment one directions dot action fragment one two fragment two so that is the particular action so here we can pass the data for example mine data will come from this edited so frag to data dot get text dot two string right so let me just try to put in some ints so here you can see it is giving us the error so this is type safety while writing the code if we just mismatch the type of data it will give us error so that is all this is how we send data from fragment 1 to fragment 2 now we are going to receive the data so that will just come to fragment 2 here we'll get the data so this particular name will be used from this class name right frag 2 args to get arguments and here we'll get a method get fox data right because uh, the name of that data in the nav graph we have defined that as fox data so that that is why we get this method get fox data depending on the name of the variable you will get this method right we have got the data inside this uh, string variable now we'll just quickly refer to the text view So okay, we have set the uh, name to this particular text view, right? I've just uh, realized that I have written it inside a button click listener. So okay, that is pretty much everything. So let me just explain. We have got the uh, data that is being sent from the fragment one in this variable. Then we have referred to the text view. We have set that. So that is pretty much everything we need to do to implement this feature to our Android application, right? So let us just check in fragment one as well that if everything is okay we have missed one thing here here instead of this we need to pass the actions right so that is pretty much everything we need to do to implement this feature now let me just quickly install this app to my cell phone and check if it is working fine or not right so guys the app has been installed to my cell phone as you can see on my mobile screen if i just type some data right and if i just go to this we have got the data right so i guess we have successfully implemented this feature to our android application and i also hope that you guys have understood the code in case of any doubt you can always ask me in the comment section or you can dm me on instagram the instagram username will be there on your screen right now so if you like the video make sure to hit that thumbs up button and in case you are new to this channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification icon for receiving the notification of the upcoming videos. So that is it for today's video. See you in another video. Bye.